morning, it's Saturday the 20th of August. I've uh, managed to get uh, a few things into this new bed that I've done. I've got four all year round cauliflowers, two Barcelona cauliflowers and ten uh, turnips. Whether they'll be any good or not, whether I've dropped a clanger by using this bought compost and soil mix, time will tell. But if I have, it will have been an expensive one because uh, I got about 1800 litres. And you can see that uh, that bed, what I've used, is not quite a bag. Only because I've partly filled with my own compost at the bottom first. Like a numb nut. Okay. We'll catch you later. Bye for now. Well, I came down here taking a few dead leaves off. Similar to this. And that one. And uh, look what I finished up with. Cobra beans. So that's another half hour of my time to cook. Putting them in the freezer. Well, getting them prepared for the freezer. Okay, catch you later. Well, I think I'm going to uh, remove this little cauliflower make a bit of room in this box so I've got uh, loads of stuff in and I need to check for caterpillars and uh, slugs because that one's not looking all that brilliant so we'll have a we'll have a check round I'll take this out and uh, we'll see what we uh, we make of it <coughs> Well, I've been looking around the beans again. The uh, ones on the far wall that certainly died a death. And, uh, yep, some more to mess about with. And a couple of onions I took out of here with the uh, Paris silver skin. Okay, we'll plod on and we'll catch you later. Bye for now. Well, I forgot to mention that it's uh, Sunday the 21st. I didn't find any slugs, but that's the little devil that's been doing the damage. So uh, we will have to do something about it. But I'll check the others as well. Okay. Bye for now. I think it was a good idea to take this out. Cabbage aphid. Thousands of bloody things. Oh! They will go in the dustbin. And we'll see what the cabbage is like. Okay, catch you later. Well, the damn things were all the way through to nearly the centre. But, uh, yeah, we'll make do. I didn't even know I'd run out of this stuff. I think having the hot weather um, has made it dry out. Because I can't hear nothing at all in there, but we'll get another one bought. Because it's uh, good stuff. Okay. Bye for now. Well, it's still Sunday, the 21st of August. And there's another eight jars of uh, tomato sauce just come off. Okie dokie, catch you later. Afternoon, it is Monday the 22nd of August. I've uh, got both these beds now filled up. Use so this one to tidy up a little bit. This one is compost and topsoil mixed. 
and that one is uh, the top bit is all uh, topsoil so we'll see how things develop and uh, I'll get this one finished off shortly okay looks like we've got another tomato harvest coming up and loads loads and loads you can see right up the very top now the ones that I've, I've took off for whatever reason are all ripened and there's loads of tomatoes that side I've had to send for another dozen jars because I've already made 14 jars of tomato sauce my next experiment will be some uh, tomato soups okie dokie we'll do that tomorrow bye for now I was just having a look on here, these uh, runner beans. I thought there's going to be another nice harvest with the look of it. And then when I came across this side, I couldn't believe it. Look at them. Hundreds of the bloody things. So we're going to have a, a decent harvest off here. They are literally all over the place. Okay, so I think these plants that I've got in the uh, front of the greenhouse we'll let these uh, get a bit bigger, we'll have them off and then I shall remove these plants because we're going to have more than enough on them uh, three plants over that side. Okay, catch you later.